Hello everyone, welcome to Green Building Supply. My name is Melanie. And I'm Aaron. And today we're gonna to talk to you about marmoleum. And there are three different kinds of marmoleum. The first type of marmoleum is marmoleum sheet goods. And this is the traditional way that it's been made forever and it's kind of the basis for all of the methods. So sheet goods. This is a piece of sheet good. Yep, and it's very flexible. And you can see on the back there's a jute backing and this comes in the biggest array of colors and it is the hardest to install. So if you're thinking of installing this yourself, this is not the one that we would recommend, although it can be done. This is usually done by a professional because it comes in these big rolls. They're about- Six and a half feet wide by a infinity. A million feet. <laughs> however, long. however long you want it. Right, and because they're that long, it makes it very hard to move. If you make a cut wrong, then you might have messed up your whole sheet. Um, if you're not comfortable using adhesive and a trowel, which is how it's installed and adhered to your subfloor, you might not feel comfortable laying down the sheet good either. And if your subfloor, what you have down underneath this, is not perfectly flat and it has dimples or cracks or ups and downs, it's gonna transfer through and you're gonna see that. So it has to be usually leveled ahead of time to make it absolutely perfectly level. So it depends on how OCD you are. Right. Basically. So for big commercial jobs, sheet goods are great. For small bathrooms, if you're willing to level it, that's great. If you have a good contractor, if you're doing it yourself, we have other options that are probably better for you. And one of the biggest benefits of sheet good is less seams. So every seam you have where floor meets floor is potential for a greater risk of moisture damage. So and that's also great if you just want to deal with one piece and you're having a certified installer lay it down. Right. That's a great alternative. Right. Sometimes bathrooms are so small that one sheet can go in there with no seam, which is great. Ideal. If you are doing a seam, that's where the skill of the installer really shows through. So we have some people who are great at installing, but they're not great at seaming and everything looks good until they get to that seam in the middle of your kitchen and they screw it up and, and you're stuck not, with that. Being not great at seaming basically means that your, your eye as a person walking on this floor notices it right, right away. That's a, exactly where the seam a is. A perfect seam, you shouldn't be able to see where it is at all. Blend and you shouldn't even be able to feel where it is. So that's the first type. Sheet good. Sheet goods. Okay, so now we've got something similar it's also flexible, except it comes in tiles. So this is a sample, which just happens to be the same size, but imagine this is a big roll, right? So let's, we'll keep here's, this in a here's roll. your roll. <laughs> and then here's your tiles. And these tiles come in different sizes. This is 13 by 13 inch, but they come in rectangles now. They come in larger squares. Um, but the main difference is the backing. Uh, the backing actually has a kind of, it's like a glass back. Um, sort of like fiberglass, um, but essentially it's a lot more uh, rigid than the jute backing. Mm -hmm. So the Sheet Goods has jute, which is great, but it's not as structurally... Uh, pliable. Pliable. Um, so this adds some stiffness and it also stops it from maybe moving out of square because when you're doing tiles, you need them to be exactly perfectly square because you're probably making a pattern which is another reason to you might tile. want to use tile. Now there are more limited colors in tile options than in sheet good, but it does give you the opportunity to do patterns mm -hmm. and it is a little easier to manipulate as a newbie or a do it yourselfer right. to deal with just these size squares mm -hmm. wrapping around your room or through hallways or tight spaces than having a big roll behind you. Yeah, if you have an Airstream trailer where you're trying to roll one roll of sheet goods down the middle, that's gonna be almost impossible to cut unless you're a real pro. We definitely recommend getting tiles. You cut this piece, you mess it up, you grab another piece, you cut it again, you do it better, use that piece, cut this and use the other parts somewhere else. That's what we'd recommend. So that's tile. Uh, and then the newest and most popular version of marmoleum is called marmoleum click. And you'll notice this is perfectly stiff. It's marmoleum, but it's mounted to a board. So it's the same sheet good, the right. same sheet good that's is... just mounted onto a clicking mechanism. Right, and so that clicking mechanism is a high density fiber board and it has a click mechanism on the edges. So they mechanically snap together. There's no glue or nails involved. And then on the back, it has a crushed up cork, which acts as a pad. 
And what's nice about this is this does not require a perfect subfloor. So with both sheet and tile, your subfloor has to be near perfectly level and flat and smooth. Um, with the click, it can kind of absorb some uh, variance. deviations, variance, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just a quick example of how this clicks together, I brought just some smaller samples. Um, this, this tongue and this groove go together and they click and it's almost imperceivable how perfect they go together. You can still do patterns with this. Um, this comes in two sizes. Yes, 12 by 12 square, which Aaron showed a moment right. ago, and then a 12 by 36 rectangle. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so you the, can do patterns. Yeah, normally you choose the squares if you're doing patterns, like a checkerboard or a basket weave, or there's a million different patterns. If you're doing all the same color, you probably just want the panels, the 12 inch by 36 inch panels because it'll install a little faster and it's a little bit cheaper. Um, and let's show them the colors. Yeah. <laughs> so for sheet goods, uh, there is a lot of colors. This is just one collection, which is called the Marmolium Real Collection. Uh, I think there's about 60 colors just in that one collection. The big sample that we're showing here, hold that up again. You'll notice that this is a different collection. This is called Vivace. And that has a bunch of different colors within it. Um, so it's kind of more of an artistic uh, pattern. And this has like 12 other colors, but they all have four colors within that one style. Yeah, so they're marbled like this, but they also allow you aesthetically to mm -hmm. decide which colors you wanna pick up on in your interior. Right. Um, so there's a bunch of different collections, but uh, you, it's easiest to just browse by colors on our website for sheet goods and forget about the collections. Um, with the tile, uh, sorry, the click, we have about, what, 28, 36 colors, something like that? I, We're not sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a good amount to select from, but not as many as the sheet goods. So sometimes, unfortunately, people look at colors first. They get their heart set on that dark gray, perfect, but it only comes in the sheet goods, and there may only be a few options in the click. So it's a good idea to look at what type you want before you get your heart set on the actual yeah, color. Yeah, if you can, and you know what kind of installation you're gonna do, narrow in on those collections mm -hmm. that go with the kind of installation you mm -hmm. have in mind. And this- Then you won't be heartbroken. <laughs> this style is called a striato. So they've, instead of doing kind of like a marbleized color, which is where the name marmoleum comes from, is that marbleization, they have a striato line, which is basically lines, and it kind of mimics uh, hardwood flooring in some ways. It's a little more modern. In that, in that there are stripes. Right. Okay. Um, and then there's another one. We'll see if we can get this to show up on camera. Check this guy out. I don't know if you can see that. So they just introduced these options too, but this adds a texture. If you can hear that, my nails mm -hmm. going over it. Right. So the other, the other options of marmoleum would be smooth. And this has a texture, which yeah. also mimics those same right. linear lines. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So all of these have the same exact finish. They come with Top Shield 2, which is a protector finish. And they all have the same exact marmoleum itself. They just get installed differently. So just to conclude, we have three types of marmoleum. We have marmoleum sheet good. Subfloor has to be perfectly flat. You're gonna have to get a certified installer to lay it down for you. A little bit more difficult to manipulate, but lots of color options. Then we have- How do you know it's sheet? It has jute on the back. Oh, good call. If you have a sample. Then we have our second option, which would be the marmoleum that comes in glue down tiles. Mm -hmm also has to have a perfectly level subfloor, also has to be installed by a certified installer, most likely. A little bit more limiting on your color choices, but you have the ability of using different types of smaller pieces and to make patterns. And our last type of marmoleum. It is marmoleum click. You'll know because it sounds more like a board and it is the easiest to install and therefore our most popular floor that we sell um, and the most popular of marmoleum and you wanna use this if you have weird old subfloors that are not perfectly level, and if you want an easy, fast installation, we've even used this at trade shows, it goes together very quickly, you can take it back apart, 
Um, there are still plenty of options for doing patterns and borders. Um, so if you have any questions about which should be the best for you, uh, let us know. You can comment below. You can send us an email or a text or chat us online. Thanks for watching. Thank you.